What's up, Tune Ram fam? Let's modify the Spotify. Let's tune it. Here's how to tune your Spotify. <laughs> So what I have right now is a stock uh, sound system. It's an Alpine sound system in my uh, 2017 Dodge Ram. I don't buy systems anymore. Number one, the prices have gone up on speakers incredibly. The technology has advanced, but I'm going deaf. I work with Powell Tools all day. I can hardly hear as it is. Every time my wife asks me a question, I'm like, huh, what? It's getting bad, so I don't modify it anymore. I'd rather put the money into my engine, you know, or other things in my house, but... Back in the day, we used to get systems. I've had over 150 boxes. I used to make my own boxes. My boy, Jamie Perkins, used to work at Custom Auto Radio back in the day in Saugus, Massachusetts. That was like the go-to place to go to back in the day. And he taught me a lot how to you know, bridge on mono and how to make ohms drop and get your, your watts up. And he taught me, taught me a lot of how to build boxes, how to make a, a speaker comfortable, whether ported or sealed. I've had JL Audio, W6s, W7s. I've had DVC, Rockford Fosgates, MB Quartz, uh, 12 inch, mostly 12 inch, eight inches back in my Toyota Tacoma. I can just go on and on and on about what I used to have, but let's talk about what I have now. Um, because to be honest with you, as a guy who's had systems back in the day, it sounds good. I, I want you to, you gotta check this out. Now this might not work for us, you know, a basic system, you know, I do have the Alpine sound system that came with this truck and it juices it up clear, not like, it, it juices it up clear. You gotta check this out. And this truck has an eight inch subwoofer in the back underneath the rear seat right there, underneath the toddler seat right there. You know, if you used to build boxes, I'm a carpenter, so it came naturally. You know, you need to know that, you know, there's 1,728 cubic inches in a cubic foot. You know that, you have to know that. I learned a lot, okay? Uh, after building all those boxes. I learned a lot from Jimmy Perkins. He's a great guy. I'm still friends with him today. He's a smart dude, but this is just a basic, uh, I just want to show you guys this. Just, just check it out. Alpine sound system. Not that it's a big deal. I'm just showing you what I got in my truck. And what I'm going to do is show you a screen recording on how to tune up your uh, Spotify. It's simple. I hope it, it, I just hope it helps you because it helped me and I enjoy my speakers. This truck is, this sound system is a totally different sound system with the way I do it. So check it out. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your Spotify app. Now this is iOS, an Apple uh, phone, so an iPhone. I'm not sure if this is the same setup as Droid, but you go to the home screen, go to settings in the upper right corner, and you go to playback, third one down. Now this volume level, keep it on normal. Uh, loud actually ruins the sound. It's too crispy and it's gonna blow your speakers. Leave it on normal. Go down to equalizer. And what you're gonna see is, you know, don't, don't touch anything else, but what you see is the parameters are uh, straight across. So what you're gonna do, and it's as simple as this, is raise these up. You know, go in your car, your truck, go in your truck, and bring these up and down to where they sound good. I usually go up and come down a little bit. It's almost maxing it out. It's just an equalizer. But this alone will give you excellent, excellent sound and basically make your sound system sound 10 times better. That's what I do, and that's it. Back it out, and you're good to go. Now, here's another important thing. Uh, you can use Bluetooth. Bluetooth does sound pretty good. Uh, I like to use the charger plug slash you know, data plug. This is what I use to plug in uh, my iPhone you get your best and loudest sound having it plugged in into the into your phone that is the best way so there you have it plug in your phone that's the best way to do it uh make sure it's not just a basic usb make sure it's a, a you know a, di a data plug as well some displays will show ipod but turn your bluetooth off hook that up directly it's the the best sound you're gonna get huge difference i hope it helps if it helped comment below until next time peace